Adding the slabs for the kitchen island top to the mold, and then we're going to get the total boat thick set fathom all mixed up here. It's a two to one ratio, so we're doing three gallons in each bucket. I added in some pigments to get the color that we're going for, and this is definitely really nice. I love the way that the uh, epoxy tint turned out. It looks really great. So we're going to get that all poured in here. So I'm doing three gallons at a time here. I think it's really cool to see this epoxy moving throughout the natural cracks and everything in the wood. And this wood has a ton of cracks and voids and small hairline cracks and everything in it. So it started to lift a little bit or float. Uh, so I went ahead and clamped everything down and we're able to get a little bit of an over pour here, which is exactly what we want. This slab, like I said, has so many cracks and voids and stuff like that. that we needed to do an over pour here to be able to get all of those filled so that we have a nice kitchen island top. I popped the bubbles using a torch and so everything's going to take a few days to cure, but everything's looking great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you guys back out here in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.